Overcoming temptation is not as simple as just saying, okay, well, if God doesn't want me to do it, here, I'll pray this prayer and he'll keep me from it. Verse 13 says, he will not allow us to be tempted above what we are able to bear, but he will, listen, with every temptation, make a way of escape. In every temptation you face, there is an exit. And right there is where the shoes change feet. You take the shoes off of God's feet, you put them on your feet. Because I cannot fall into temptation and say I had no choice. Yes, you did. I'll say that again because that felt pretty good. You cannot say, I fell into temptation, I had no choice. Oh, yes, you can. And I believe that because of this verse, that with every temptation that you will ever face, there is always a way out. With every temptation that you will ever face, there is always going to be a way of escape. Moses chose suffering rather than enjoy the pleasures of sin. You understand that? Moses could have just gone with his, with his life and gone on with his life, but he chose to suffer with God's people rather than enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. The way of escape for him was suffering. <laughs> Joseph. Joseph left a coat behind to get away from Potiphar's wife. Sometimes you might, <laughs> you might leave a little behind, but it's worth leaving some behind than losing your behind. <laughs> leave it. Let it go. I knew there'd be no chest bumping in here this morning. <laughs> Daniel. Mm, Daniel left Ruth's Chris to eat vegan. He's a better man than I am. Verse 13 says, he will not allow you to be tempted above what you are able, but with every temptation will make a way of escape. There's your revelation for today. He will make a way of escape. Y'all ever heard the, the biblical story of David and Bathsheba? Maybe a couple of you have. I, I don't know. It's not a very common story. It's one of those hidden stories in the Bible. Nobody wants to say nothing to Read it slowly. And what you'll see is that from start to finish, God is trying to give the boy a way out. All the way through it. At the time that he was tempted, he was not even supposed to be where he was. The Bible says that when it was time for war, the kings were supposed to be out to war. David stayed home. He was not supposed to be there. Sometimes just not being where you were not supposed to be is your deliverance talking about temptation if your problem is alcohol all your friends call you up hey we're going out we're going out just one drink just show up for one drink your deliverance could very well be just not being there if you don't want temptation to follow you stop acting like you're interested that's pretty good isn't that right if you don't want temptation to follow you, stop acting like you're interested. I'm telling you, it'll drop off. David.